Wayfinding is a missed opportunity where instead of having a wayfinding that clash with everything or is not in sync, we could do better. We don't want to compete with the architects. We don't want to compete with the interior designer. We want to understand where they're coming from because they're very often there before. They plan the whole thing. <coughs> they have their own style. They have years sometimes of forth behind it. So for us it's key that the people that have worked before us, the architects very often, sometimes the interior designers, can't explain where they're coming from. Being also a branding agency, we look at the messages. So the architect does the hardware, and the end user is the software. They are the people that are going to use these buildings and these spaces. And they have their own view on that. And so we need to marry these two. So we need to understand what the space is for, is it a commercial space? Is it a serious space? Is it whatever it is? And <coughs> what this group of people that are going to use this building have in mind so that we can really bridge between the architectural vision and the brand messages or whatever communication, how the character of that. There's the body, there's the soul, and we see ourselves as the voice. So we took the time to work with the team and understand this, uh, this building, the architectural statement, but also how it works. Then we looked at the users, and that is when it becomes a bit more tricky here, because you have the patient, and they go from infant, very young, up to teenager, 18 years old. So needs and um, way of perceiving the exchange between the, the communication, their communication is very different. And then you have visitors that come to visit their child and uh, their relatives. Then there is the, uh, the, the medical body, the people that uh, help the patients, the doctor, the nurses, and all the other people that help within an hospital that are there. So it's a demographic that is quite complex. So we looked at that also very carefully. An hospital, you have to deal with emotions. You have to deal with all these various conditions that are intangible and we needed to understand the combination, all those three things, and be one contributing team member on how that can be answered within the hospital space. We wanted to create a family. We wanted characters to go and live in this habitat and start to be the communication point uh, with the um, patient and uh, visiting uh, parents and relatives and so on. And uh, that was very well received. So it's a family that inhabit a space. Each uh, member of this family is on a different floor. Each animal has also its own environment. And that environment also kind of reflects what's happening on the floor. For instance, the flamingo is always his foot in the water. <coughs> the center uh, there has a pool to help for exercise, so there was the water feature. But we also know how to bring people from one place to the other. In that case, the kangaroo not only helps diffusing tension, explaining things, is also the one that's going to lead you to your destination. The family and the animal jumping out. It gets out of the family and it starts to lead the way around. When we talk about wayfinding, we have to start somewhere. And what we try to do is to be engaged at the early stage, at least in a conversation where we can prove and show that we can bring more in a very integrated way. 